Okay girls, I got a lot of requests on how to make the barrettes, so I'm going to show you my routine. I hope you can see everything in the picture. Um, I put a little bit of fabric glue just out on a piece of cardboard, and I have a little paintbrush, which is what I use. I've pre-cut four and a half inches of grosgrain ribbon, uh, three-eighths of an inch, and if you want to cover the entire barrette, then you can cut six inches, but I use four and a half. They hold a lot better the less ribbon that you use. So. I have my uh, things that I'm going to put on the barrettes after we get it covered, and I have alligator clips. They're the ones that work the best as far as I'm concerned. So the first thing you need to do is take the ribbon and um, hold the flame close to it. You'll see it kind of melt down a little bit. That heat seals the ends so that they don't fray. You don't want to catch it on fire like I did to that other one, but if you do, just pinch it out. It won't hurt you. Okay, so they're sealed. That's enough to do two different barrettes. So, take your um, fabric glue, and I want to mention I have a hot glue gun preheating here so that we can apply um, the embellishment to it. So take the fabric glue and cover the grosgrain ribbon, not terribly liberally, just enough to where it'll stick to your fingers like that. If you put too much, you're going to have a hard time getting it to stick to the barrette. Once you practice two or three of them, you'll understand um, what amount that is. If you do put too much, just take a paper towel and wipe some off. It'll be fine. So what I do is open the barrette and I sticky side up, I just kind of clamp it and get it right in the middle. Make sure the ribbon comes all the way to the back like that. Then I pinch it over and squeeze it very tightly, covering it all the way to the top. Now you see the end starts to gap a little, and to me, I like it to be very tight and flush. So I'll take a, I take one of the extras and just stick it like that to hold it while I'm working on the rest of the barrette. So pinch it into the end like this. You may have to hold it there for a second to get it to stay. And if it doesn't, just make sure there's enough slack when you push it to the other side so that you can come back and work on it some more. Fold it all the way around to the back. Give it a nice tight squeeze. And if it won't stay, go ahead and put another one right there while you work on this end part. Because, you know, if it does this, it means I put a little too much glue. There you go. It's starting to stick. That's great. So I let it, um, I go ahead uh, and let it dry like this probably for a good solid 15 minutes before I try to do anything else to it. So I just put it down and then I'll work on my next one. Next installment to come. Okay ladies, second installment of barrette making. So I have here one of my dry barrettes. Um, it's looking like it's still wet in certain places. I've only let it dry for 10 minutes, so that's why I said 15 to 20. I should have taken my own advice. My favorite thing to put on these barrettes are dried flowers. Um, or not dried flowers, <laughs> silk flowers. And this here is a paper flower, but it's a really sturdy one. Um, and it's my favorite look. Because of this end prong being so big, it looks kind of silly if you put a bunch of flat embellishments on. I mean, if they have a lot of hair, then that's good, but if you're sticking this on an infant, the prongs, you know, need something that can stand up to them. So you see how that flower is nice and big, and it kind of evens out that, that big prong on the end. So I love putting flowers on them. Um, all you have to do is put a little bead of hot glue and press it down. I mean, it, it really doesn't get much more simple than that. So once you get it in the position that you want it in, then you just, you know, let it settle and um, dry before you use it, obviously, but here we go. A beautiful paper flower hair clip. Now I also did this dragonfly, if you want to see a little more of a flat one. 
was a dragonfly. This was actually a button. Um, you can get scrapbooking embellishments that would work. Um, you can use sequins. You can use regular buttons. This button had a big loop on the back, so I just took uh, some wire snippers and just kind of snipped the loop off the back and hot glued it on here. Um, use your imagination as far as that goes. I wanted to show also one other kind of clip that I do are those ones that you bend. Now these ones work um, okay in Veronica's hair, um, who's nine months old. My three-year-old daughter, these work a lot better in her hair, um, you know, because there's just more to grab onto. But these little things I got um, pre-packaged, they came in packs of two, and they're just kind of appliques that you can use for anything. Um, just little cloth flowers. I usually raid the um, scrapbooking sections or the silk flowers. So uh, use your imagination, have fun, and hopefully you can make some really cute barrettes for your daughters or for gifts to give to other people. Thanks for watching. Bye.